Hi, welcome to this lecture. Um, so in this lecture, we'll talk about um, what Google Collab is. Um, so to get started, uh, let's type in um, Collab on Google. Collab. So enter, and you can see here um, Encyclopedia and also the main uh, Google Collab site. So collab.researchgoogle.com. So Collab is one of the Google uh, research product. Um, so it's more like if you know a Jupyter notebook, it's more like a cloud um, cloud based uh, uh, Jupyter uh, notebook dashboard. So you don't have to uh, manually um, install um, you know some libraries um, on your Conda environment or on a local machine. It's just taken care of um, for you uh, at the you know call lab in, in the cloud. So it's a cloud-based um, you know Jupyter notebook so to speak. Um, so and and it's free. And then one of the things that you need to um, access call lab is you need a Gmail account. And if you have a Gmail account, you need to um, you know have um, a, you know your Google Drive, and then you can create a, a Collab notebook, something like you create a, a Jupyter notebook. Okay, so what's collaboratory? So a Collab, a collaboratory, or Collab in a short form, uh, you know, allows you to write and execute uh, Python in your browser, and it has a zero configuration required. So if you were to do a Jupyter notebook, you need to configure some and install some package. But here. You just need to, um, you know, import some package. You don't have to configure, and then you also have access to GPU and easy sharing of your, your codes. Technically, you just um, share your collab code uh, with other, you know, collaborators, and 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 it's fairly straightforward. Um, so, how do you um, create a, a collab notebook? So you need to go to your your drive, your Google Drive, and then create a new um, collabs. You see Google Collaboratory, you just create a new, and then um, it will give you an option to create a new notebook. It's just uh, like a Jupyter notebook. So you can rename your um, collab notebook, um, for example, test one, and dot, um, that's uh, a notebook, um, um, suffix and then you have um, you know runtime and edit and file so you can save your file um, as a copy in your drive or in a github and things like that but basically now uh, we don't do fa fancy things here and also you have different cells so this is when you click this you add um, a cell that's um, executable so you write a code for example import numpy then you can execute this code it will import this package and also you have a text um, a text um, cell where you can for example let me just move this app and then you can for example write um, import um, I don't have to just comment it package So you can execute this, then um, it will just um, consider it as a text. It will not, um, well, because it's import, it's considering it as, um, as um, I will, let me just make it a, a human readable, a sentence so that it will consider it. Oh, did I, let me just add a, a cell which is all right so we can I can um, change the font type to bold and what have you let me just tell it actually import package and then this is a text so, so because uh, this this cell was um, added as a, 
a cord cell so that it's assuming it as a you can also delete a cell so let's delete that so this is a text um, you can write anything any text about this code and you can also add um, a code cell so technically it's uh, it's more like a Jupyter notebook uh, but a cloud um, hosted uh, environment and the advantage is you know you don't have to um, run uh, you don't have to you know configure some some package and then uh, unlike a Jupyter notebook